morning welcome to another video you're a little bit low there cut off the top of my head but you're not going to be there for long so do not worry um i thought i'd do a little home alone vlog it's very rare that i'm alone in this whole home alone overnight because ashley very 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 rarely goes where i can't remember the last time we went away overnight actually um i have a feeling i did a vlog that time as well and i feel like that was for the same reason as he's away now his mother has been up in surrey staying with his aunt and um ashley's gone to pick her up um took a long time to get that sentence out didn't it anyway yes ashley's gone to pick her up so he's gone up staying overnight tonight and then bringing her back tomorrow um so yeah it's very rare that this happens to me so i kind of quite look forward to it in a way quite nice to spend it actually gets quite a lot of evenings to himself or nights alone because i go up to bournemouth quite a lot but um yeah not me not so much um anyway it's 10 past 11 there's baby seagulls on the roof two of them they're learning to fly i think i saw one of them fly for the first time this morning which was lovely but if you can hear the tapping and um tweeting that is why there's two of them and it sounds like they're clog dancing along the roof quite a lot of the time as well joys of having a flat roof um yeah it's about 10 past 11 it's monday and i'm not feeling as productive i have been quite productive this morning i've edited my dartmouth video and um, published that so that's good and uh, i've been sitting at my desk not getting loads done so i'm making myself a cup of coffee and hoping that um that'll give me a bit of oomph i don't have loads of plans for today i have already been out to aldi and i'm about to and i've dropped off some parcels I'm about to unpack my shopping from aldi which is fairly uninteresting in the main i must admit but um i'll show you what i got i don't know if it's even worth it to be honest but i will show you anyway and i've got some plans to do a bit of cooking this afternoon um get a bit organized for the week ahead because i'm going to be out for the whole day wednesday because flying visit up to bournemouth for a meeting um about my dad um that, that that's um on wednesday so i'm going to drive up in the morning see my dad spend some time with him um go for the meeting have lunch with mum and then come but drive back again because i can't really um do an overnight haven't got the spare time this week to do an overnight because we were away a couple of nights in dartmouth last week um yeah so i want to get ahead with a bit of cooking for the week so i'm going to do that and i'm going to show you two new machines i've got one i bought one i was sent um in the course of that cooking um let's so let's do the shopping i've got two new boxes of tissues i'm buying the square cube tissues at the moment because you remember in my timu haul i got those really nice faux leather tissue box covers for that type of box so yeah i'm pleased with those um i got some eggs I baked a cake yesterday, a lemon drizzle cake, which is um, the first cake I have baked in literally years, literally years, and it was jolly good. Not through my own expertise, I hasten to add. A lot of it was down to my new machine, but um, more about that later. Right, what did I buy? Eggs, I've shown you those. Um, light tonic water, this is their um, fever tree dupe, and it's pretty good, not bad at all and much cheaper much cheaper streaky bacon that's one of the recipes i'm cooking today this is 249 i think um sweet gem lettuce some mixed peppers again for stuff i'm cooking in the next couple of days tin of chickpeas tin of chopped tomatoes tin of potatoes which again i'm gonna try these in the air fryer for my dinner this evening um and i'll show you how i got on with them i haven't had tin potatoes for years but i saw somebody on tiktok doing a tinned potato thing that came out really nicely um nord pack this is currently down to um 219 in our date which is pretty good i thought um i wonder if that's in response to the supermarkets the tesco's and asda and all things let's go with sainsbury's i think um so doing this aldi price match they wonder if aldi are now undercutting them 
Um, this is Aldi's version of the Oreo enrobed cookies, which I haven't tried before. Quite like these because they come in individual packets, so you're not tempted to eat your way through the whole packet. Although I tend not to be like if it was crisps, absolutely. If it was sweet things, not so much. Um, these are the lentil. Are they lentil or not? They're multi-grain, multi-grain waves. Um, six pack of those was one pound something. Not sure exactly what. Some of the sandwich thing things, the high protein ones. Um, this sounded interesting the bacon mayo not tried that before so I'll give that a go and this was 149 it's um I think they're burger cheese slices they call them but I wanted some to go in a chip but they're sort of the right shape for what I was looking for sliced cheese for and a better price than a lot of the rest of it because you didn't have to buy so much of this so it's 149 for four chunky slices which is perfect for what I need um, and then I got a red diffuser, the Lime Basil and Mandarin one, which I've, they've rebranded these or redone the packaging. Um, they're still $2.99 or $2.49. I feel like $2.99. I'll, I'll dig my receipt out at some point and um, have a look. But um, the last time I had one of these, I wasn't super impressed with it and haven't bought one for ages of the Lime Basil and Mandarin. But I thought I wanted a re diffuser for the hallway downstairs. So I thought I would try one and see as they've been repackaged, if they've improved again, or if perhaps the last one I had was just a dodgy one. So I'll undo that and put this lot away, make myself a coffee. And then I am going to do some work some ebay type stuff and answer any comments that come in on the dartmouth video which i've just published it's not a very nice day out there look at that i don't know what it's like up in london but it's the second week of wimbledon this week so i'm hoping that it's going to get a bit better and uh, i'm not so bothered for down here because um i'm not going out anywhere as i said i'm having a homey day but um very much would like to watch a bit of Wimbledon this afternoon. Bit jealous, my brother was there yesterday. I spent years going in for the um, ballot every year. Never got tickets, <laughs> never managed to get tickets. I haven't tried for the last three or four years, but um, yeah, I never managed to get tickets. So um, I was slightly jealous that when Nick got some on his very first attempt, so anyway they had a nice time i believe so that was good right i am making soup i am making soup in my new thermomix this is my sister-in-law had one of these and showed me it and i thought it was so so clever it's a very wazzy kitchen gadget um that does all sorts of stuff it does it, it, just everything it chops it sautés it cooks it slow cooks it does sous vide cooking it makes it bakes it it, it just does all the things it doesn't actually bake you but it makes dough and stuff and cake mixes um but i was so impressed that it connects to the internet and I'm, I'm not trying to sell it to you at all i'm just telling you about it um it, it, it wasn't gifted or anything pay for it with my own money um very very happy with it so far before i bought it i did check on resale prices because i did i couldn't really tell you i've only had it a week or so but i couldn't tell you whether um it was one of those things that will be exciting and faddy and then i won't use so much i just don't know but i did check on resale prices and they go for almost as much as you pay for them so i figured if i keep it for a year and find i'm not using it i haven't lost out too much so that's pretty good but um i just love the way it does this whole step-by-step -step thing down here this is what i'm cooking lentil and bacon soup you touch that and you do start cooking and it does the whole step-by-step -step. it also weighs all the ingredients so you don't need to um weigh them separately which is brilliant anyway i'm going to go and cook my soup and i'll come back to you when i'm done oh my goodness look at that weather out there it looks like midwinter doesn't it glad i brought the cushions in this morning <laughs> i am cooking my soup that is ongoing today's lunch it's one did i say it's one o'clock um is a ham and coleslaw sandwich on the basis that the coleslaw really needed eating up a packet of those waves that i bought this morning and some seedless grapes and um, a big thing of 
quite weak pink squash, the Vimto squash that I talked about the other week in my favourites. So I'm going to have an hour off, I'm going to read a little bit and um, perhaps catch up with the Tour de France and a bit of Wimbledon on the telly. Right, soup is done. Lentil and smoked bacon soup. It's actually not smoked bacon, it's unsmoked bacon, but it's really tasty. Right, lunch break is over. It's two o'clock. My next fun task is a little bit of ironing. It looks as though it's brightening up a bit, which is nice. But um, I'm going to do some ironing, watch a bit of YouTube on my iPad, and then I'm going to get a, the last few bits of eBay listing done that I want to get done today. And then we shall see what the afternoon brings. Oh, very annoyingly, it's just about four o'clock. Very annoyingly, I have just realised that I am missing a couple of the ingredients I need. I need to marinate some chicken overnight. I'm doing... Uh, chicken tikka masala tomorrow night um, for when Ashley gets home it's one of his favourites um, in my new machine the thermo mix and I have managed to forget to purchase an Aldi this morning two of the ingredients so the reason I'm fiddling about with that lock like that is the lock is very sticky and I don't want it to stick So, have I got a bag? Yes, I've got a bag. So we are now on our way to Tesco's because we need to get these ingredients. Oh, so so My so goodness, let me just pause that. That was truly hideous. So busy. Car park, the car park's emptier now, but it was absolutely chock-a-block when I got here. The trouble is, a lot of the car, it used to be a multi-storey car park here, they had a second deck at Tesco's and apparently it had concrete cancer and they knocked the second deck down in, started about October last year I would say, well before Christmas. Um, but I don't know what they're doing now, but the work is ongoing. The car park is a nightmare, they've taken away half the spaces, at least half possibly more actually I mean, how can you can build a whole housing estate including all the services water gas whatever in less time than it's taken them to knock down half a car park and do whatever else they're doing I don't know what they're doing they don't seem to be building anything else onto the store they've had a massive rearrange in the store that's another big rant I could go on <sighs> But I won't I'll spare you that today but um yeah I just I cannot understand how this building work is taking so long it will be where are we now we're in July now so another couple of months it will be getting on for a year I don't I don't even know what they're doing there are people there but they just don't seem to be doing anything and meanwhile the car park is ridiculous it's particularly bad at this time of year because it's holiday time of year of course which makes it worse but my goodness, I wish they'd just get on with it, for goodness sake. It's not like Tesco aren't making enough profit to employ a few more workmen and get the bloody job done now, is it? I'm back home and I've put my comfies on. Felt the need for some comfies. I've got my llama leggings and Amazon top, this one. I've got it in several different colours. Very comfy. I will link it in the description box below if it's still available. Um, right. I need to get some stuff ready for a video I'm going to film in the morning. I need to marinate my chicken. And that's about it in terms of needs. Oh, and get tonight's dinner ready as well. Because I need to show you my new machine that I've been sent by Altenic. This is a two-drawer air fryer. We got we were quite early adopters of the air fryer look you can see through the door to what's cooking in this one which is fab very excited about that same on the left hand side as well but um we're very early adopters of the tefal active fry the round original air fryer which was when you only did chips with it really healthy chips and um, very much enjoyed using that one this soup is still warm from lunchtime and it's nearly five o'clock Amazing how long things take to cool down, isn't it? Um, 
yeah and then the teflect fry gave up just before christmas this year and we got the kasori one thank goodness for amazon prime because we were, i think they did the oven give up at the same time pretty much the oven died and uh, the air fryer died and we were hosting christmas so yeah that was all fun and games um anyway we got the kasori air fryer with one drawer which we like very much but then Alternic said, did I want to try a two drawer one? And weirdly, when we bought the, the um, one drawer one, Ashley had been quite keen on getting a two drawer one. So I said, oh yes, that would be good. And last night, Ashley did a whole roast dinner in this two drawer air fryer. And it was pretty good. Um, roast beef, Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, roast carrots, and he just did broccoli cheese on the stove top and the gravy, obviously. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna cook myself a whole meal in the air fryer tonight. I'm going to do a sort of stuffed chicken breast and then I'm going to do hopefully some roasted new potatoes. These um, are tinned potatoes with um, oh, air fried potatoes with some air fried peppers and onions with them. So got to prep that. But first of all, I need to get my chicken into the marinade for tomorrow night's dinner. Oh, so organised in advance today. Right, my chicken tikka is marinating ready for tomorrow night's dinner right i've prepped all my bits for dinner or oh, i've got them all out got mad hair um chicken tikka's in the fridge marinating i like to do at this time of day i like to do a last 10 or 15 minutes on emails to pick up anything i've missed during the day reply to anything that needs replying to um just so that i give myself a bit of a head start in the morning so that's what i'm going to do i literally say this every day of my life but where has the day gone where has it gone anyway i have prepped dinner at six o'clock just coming up to six o'clock i am going to sit down for half an hour and then i'm probably going to put the dinner in i reckon it would cake 20 minutes something like that so what i'm having is a chicken breast with slices down it and in there is these roasted red peppers in vinegar um little slices of the cheese that i showed you this morning and then some reduced fat basil pesto this one um i've just wrapped it in foil because i feel like the juices might run out and maybe um it, it, i want to keep it quite moist so i'm going to cook it in the foil in one side of the air fryer then in the other side here i've got the tinned potatoes, some sliced green peppers and some sliced onions and I'm get, they've got garlic powder and lime pepper seasoning on them. I'll show you the lime pepper seasoning actually. Bear with, it is this one um, which I got at a little farm shop a while ago. Um, so garlic powder and lime seasoning on those once they've been in for half the time i'm going to add in these mini mushrooms and some sliced tomato halved cherry tomatoes to go in with those to make like a sort of potato and veggie stir fry type of thing so that in one half this in the other half a whole air fryer dinner hopefully all very experimental never done it before so I'm going to have a quick tidy of the kitchen and um, go and sit down, catch up on what's happened, some, what has happened at Wimbledon today because I literally haven't even turned the television on um, since lunchtime and seen anything of it. So, um, yeah, maybe watch a news bulletin, but probably not, let's be honest. Dinner is in the air fryer. So I've got my chicken in the left-hand side, my veg in the right-hand side. The lights go off automatically after a while but you can put them back on again so you can see how it's getting on which is just brilliant i don't think i've seen an air fryer with um, windows before so i'm quite liking that it's fairly easy to operate this one's got 30 minutes to go that one's got 30 minutes to go um and then i'm gonna add in these bits tomatoes and mushrooms and um yeah i'm excited and air fryer dinner is served. It doesn't look the most attractive, but 
it's um, the pesto because it's a reduced fat pesto. I think it hasn't melted as such as it much as it would have done had it not been the reduced one. But um, it looks tasty and I think I'm going to enjoy it anyway. That baby seagull is very persistent up on my dome. He's tap, tap, tapping. There's two of them actually. So it must be the other one tappy. I can't see him at the moment, the other one. But, oh my goodness. There's one of the baby seagulls. I'm not sure how well that's focusing. Is it focusing okay? Anyway, no, I think it's probably not. That might be better. I can't tell. I haven't got my glasses on. Look at that weather. Like the middle of summer in the UK, does it? But June was nice, so I can't really complain. Well, I can if it goes on like this. I'd really like it to be like in the Med, where you get four months of beautiful sunshine. I look a bit mad, don't I? Are we focusing? Yes, we are. I must make an appointment to go and get my eyes tested. Honestly, they're so they're so not good. Sure, I need new glasses. Um, well, I've had a chat with Ashley, who's phoned me from his hotel room. He's <laughs> having an exotic evening by himself in his hotel room with a uh, carton of special fried rice from the Chinese. <laughs> My dinner was far nicer than his, I'm sure. Um, I've had just had a chat with Will, who had a good weekend um, and was walking home from the gym. Um, I've had a chat with my mother earlier on, so everybody's good, everybody's um, had a good Monday, so that is good. Just painted my toenails, which needed doing, in my new nails ink nail polish. Um, what else have I done? Tidied up the kitchen, popped the dishwasher on, just, oh I know what I did have to tell you, Two things, both reed diffuser related. The first one is that the lime basil and mandarin one that I put downstairs in the hallway, um, I know I just went downstairs to lock the door and um, I noticed the smell as I went into the hallway. So it's good, I'm pleased with that one. It's so far, only put it in this morning obviously, but it's good. Now on the subject of reed diffusers, do you remember my very, very expensive purchase of a reed diffuser? This one here, this Aqua de Palma one. Um, oh, just got a whiff of it. Lovely. Um, I bought this a while ago because I had 20% off at Sephora and it had been on my wish list for so long since we went to Santorini a year ago in April, I think it was. So April 2022, they had this reed diffuser in the hotel um, reception and it was the most lovely thing I'd ever smelled. And I really wanted one. And when I came home, I looked them up, I looked at the price and I thought, oh my God, I can't pay that for a reed diffuser. That's ridiculous. Anyway, Sephora have them and they sent me a 20% off and I decided to purchase it. Um, I, d I said all this in a video a while ago, you may or may not remember. And sorry, I've been very distracted by the seagull out there. Um, and I opened it when I came home from holiday. So just over a month ago now. It's meant to last up to 12 weeks. It's already, bearing in mind it's fatter at the top than at the bottom it's already over halfway down so that's a bit disappointing although to be fair it has been a very i don't the camera just turned itself off and i've no idea why um <laughs> also it was horribly zoomed in it's just zoomed itself back out which is probably better um yeah it's definitely not going to last anywhere near 12 weeks it's more like um <sighs> going to be six I would think maybe seven um, which is a little bit disappointing considering the price but it has been very hot weather so perhaps the evaporation level is quicker um, the other thing is I had this in my lounge I specifically wanted it to be my lounge which is as you know quite large open plan um, and it was so disappointing I couldn't the first couple of days I noticed it 
Um, after that, I really couldn't smell it at all. I moved it around the room to different places. And occasionally when I walked past, I got a very faint smell that had to be literally walking past next to it. Um, also, I mean, I know that you do get sort of blind to scents that are there all the time. So that's a possibility. But I also... Um, when I came into the house from being out, I didn't notice it either. Now, again, it's been summer. We've had the doors and the windows open, so perhaps that accounts for part of it. Um, but I, I was overall disappointed that it didn't scent my lounge. I know it's a big space, but I thought it would. So yesterday I moved it in here to see if it did indeed smell at all. And I have noticed it a couple of times when I've come in here today, but faintly. Um, no, it's certainly not the big knockout, lovely smell that I remember from Santorini, the hotel reception, which was a big cavernous area that was also open to outside and had very high ceilings and was big. Um, so, yeah, a little bit disappointed with this overall. It smells nice if I do that, but um, I don't think I'll be in the market for another one, but it's like that. Anyway. Never mind. Nice to try these things. It's something I've ticked off my list now. I also wanted to talk to you about my slight YouTube changes that I decided I was going to make about a month ago. And I said I was going to be doing less YouTube th videos for the summer months. I wanted to step back from it a little bit and not be on such a timetable and just produce videos as and when. I suspect it has felt pretty much the same from your point of view, apart from it's not the usual Wednesday, Friday, Sunday upload schedule. There are actually fewer videos, but it hasn't really um, seemed that way. A couple of the ones you've seen in the last month were pre-records from a while ago, and there have actually been less. So from my point of view, it has definitely been less of a workload, um, and I'm loving the freedom of just, I w I've very much worked on one video at a time, I film that, I edit it, I upload it and publish it. I don't think about when it's good, if it's got to be on a certain day or a certain time or any of that. I just, when it's ready, it goes. And that feels very freeing. It's felt really nice and laid back. Sorry, <laughs> the two seagulls are there now. They're flip flapping around each other. They're so sweet. Honestly, the amount of joy I've got from the two baby seagulls that are living on my roof. It's the little things in life, isn't it? Um... But yeah, I, I really have been enjoying the more relaxed attitude towards it and feeling better and it has felt less of it. It, was, it had been starting to feel like a real burden and it's feeling less like that now, which is very nice. Um, what have I been doing with my spare time from not doing as much? I have been mostly doing pretty much whatever I like. <laughs> that, no big projects or anything like that. I've been reading more. I've been um, sitting outside in the sunshine a little bit more. I've been relaxing a little bit more. I have been watching a bit more television probably and just really low-key chilling, I guess, which has been exactly what I wanted. I, I would like to be doing more stuff around the house. I needed to be doing major decluttering, really, but I just haven't felt much like it. I've, I've got some health stuff going on in the background as well, which um, has meant that I've had a little bit less energy and a little bit less oomph. And um, yeah, so, th so there's that as well, which has made me want to relax more and do a bit less. So that has probably made me slow down as well. And I think slowing down is sometimes a good thing, isn't it? So I'm going to be continuing in this vein for at least the rest of the summer as far as YouTube goes. Um, I am planning a little series of um, try-on videos. I'm probably going to do three or four in a row, I think. And um, I'm going to very much try and order the clothes one day, receive them the next day and film the video and publish it that day because there's so many out of stock issues when I film videos I feel really bad if I'm showing you clothes and saying oh this is really good I really like it and then you can't get your hands on them you know um, because of the stock issues so I thought if I try and do it that way um, there's more likelihood of things being in stock 
as and when I am um, you know if I if I try and keep it the the time scale a little bit tighter with that so yeah anyway I am going to take off my makeup get ready for bed I can't believe how dark it is it's um is that 20 oh no it's 20 to 9 See, the evening's gone. I can now say, where has the evening gone? Um, I'm going to get into bed. I'm hopefully going to finish my book tonight. Tomorrow morning, I am podcast recording with Carla at 8.30. And I'm um, hoping to film another video, um, Travel Essentials video, which I'm quite looking forward to filming. Lots of good stuff to chat about there. And um, yeah, it's really getting very dark, isn't it? Quarter to nine. I hope the weather's better tomorrow. Let's see what the weather's going to do tomorrow. I wonder if it will be going out for a walk weather. Let's see. Um, hmm, possibly not. It says tomorrow, 40% chance of rain. Windy all day. Cloudy and windy all day until might, might be nice in the evening at 7. You didn't need to know all that, did you? Right, I'll see you in the morning. I was going to say good morning, but... As it's quarter past one, that would be inaccurate. Oh my God, it's been a very busy morning this morning. I woke up at five to five, ridiculous, I know. And I then went, I fiddled about for a bit and then went back to sleep from six until 10 to seven. And I don't know why I do that because when I wake up naturally at five o'clock this morning, I feel awake and ready for the day and everything and after I go back to sleep and then wake up I feel groggy and not really with it and yeah it takes me a while to get going so the whole going back to sleep thing is not necessarily a good plan I don't think. Just having a bowl of this soup that I made yesterday which looks delicious. Um, Anyway, yeah, woke up, got got up, got going, um, filmed the podcast with Carla at, or recorded it, not filmed it, at whatever time that was. That was 8.30. Did my parcels, went out on the parcel run, um, dropped off a book at the library, picked another one up that my mum had recommended, so I'd ordered that one. And came back, filmed a YouTube video, then did some eBay stuff, my cleaner's been and cleaned the house, it's all looking lovely. And yeah, that's where we're up to now. So I'm just stopping for some lunch. And I don't really have to think I've got anything else to share with you. I feel like we did everything I wanted to talk about yesterday. So I think I'll probably leave this one here. Um, the two drawer air fryer really good the other thing it does that's really clever that i don't think i mentioned last night is that you can set your two baskets to go and make them sink sink if you press a sinking button it makes them end sink as in not sink as in put in water and it goes to the bottom the other sink synchronize <laughs> it makes them end at the same time or so they say so your food is already at the same time which is brilliant that's really clever um i think i've got a discount code for it i'll put the link in the discount code in if anybody else is interested in a two drawer air fryer um i think that's it i'm going to have my lunch and um get on with the rest of my day thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one bye bye